this is Jody back from Jody's Gems Quilting, and I just wanted to share this. I am very excited. My Elna Quilter Stream was giving me fits a couple years ago, and so I took it off the frame halfway through a quilt and took it in to get it serviced. And before I put it back on the frame, I thought, oh, I'm going to go ahead and get it serviced again before I put it on. And I'm going to finish the quilt that was on here, which I did. Now I've switched all my threads, as you know by my videos. I had a lot of problems with, with threads, and so I've tried everything everything on here to see what would work well I put another quilt on maybe another one and I would the, just this Friday last week I was having so many problems with a thread and it would snag and that's what I took it for to get it fixed the first time so it's still doing it with really nice thread so I decided to consider a long arm. I had was able to get a really good price on it, and I was considering it. But before I did, I was ready to throw this all in the trash, the whole frame, everything, because I just figured I was done. It, it's not going to work anymore. And my husband was like, well, wait, let me see what I can do, because I was concerned that the handle right here was only for a new, for a Elna Quilter Stream. That was my impression, that they specifically made a handle for each machine. So I figured it was toast, and he wanted to help me figure out what he could do. So I, he says, why don't you see if you can get another machine to go on there, and I'll see if I can play with it and get it to work. And I looked, and I thought, you know, the, the plug-in for this might work on other machines, my same handle. And it has the speed control on it, so it just didn't work on my Elna anymore. It just didn't have the speed. It was, you know, I kind of worn it out maybe. So I posted on, to send an email to all my students, you know, asking somebody if they had ever used or have the long arm I was looking at. And one of my friends has a sister and she's like, oh, my sister has one in her basement, you know, she doesn't want it anymore, so why don't you get a hold of her? So I called her and it's actually this brother, Brother Novell, 1500S. It was on the exact same frame that I have, but shorter. I have the longer rails on here. So I had all the parts. I went over and got it for under $500. She just wanted it out. And I didn't have a clue if it really worked. I mean, I plugged it in, turned it on, and it worked. But I didn't really know if it would work or not. Didn't even know for sure if it would fit in here. I was pretty sure because everything was the same. But I am so excited. Oh, my gosh. I put it on here. Started quilting it out on this quilt. The tension. And she had had it serviced two years ago when she got it from her neighbor whose wife had died. That's who owned it before. So it hasn't been touched in two years, but the tension on here, I didn't do anything. Didn't change the needle. I put in Guterman thread. I thought, well, let's just see what it does. I could never use Guterman on my Elna Quilter Stream. It just would never have worked. I've had no thread breakage at all. I am astounded. So if you're having problems with your frame system, with your machine, it's very possibly the problem is your machine is worn out or it's just not, like in my case, that Elna Quilter Stream was never designed to be on here. I think the Brother, which is not my favorite brand, I, I told them that up front. It's like, I don't know anything about them. I don't really care for them. But I found out um, that this is actually designed more of an industrial machine. I'll show you. I never had the space under here because this was real boxy on my Elna. So I got stuck on here often. My needle bar would get caught often and I would break needles because it would hit on here. Um, I had to be really careful. I feel like even though it's the same nine inch bed from front to back, I feel like I have more room. So I'm pretty excited. The only thing I don't like is it doesn't have a push button up and down, needle up and down. It either does down all the time or it does wherever and I called us to get it serviced I thought it was broken and he said no that's just the way it's designed so that's my only downside to this right now with the brother is I cannot get the needle up and down um, have no idea how to make that function but at least my handle I know will work on other machines so anyway hope this helps you and I hope you're having a great day I'm a happy camper I know this is not ideal. I would love to have a long arm. I just cannot justify it yet. Um, you know, at 10, 15, 20,000 without a computer and then another 10 for a computer, it's just not gonna happen. Um, 
so anyway i hope you guys are having a great day take care bye